So I've lived in Solano County for over 25 years, so I thought I'd give you a few pros and cons of living here. And if you stick around to the end, I'll give you a sweet bonus. Let's start with some quick facts. Solano County is about 909 square miles. It has about 430,000 residents in seven incorporated cities. So number one is location. We are located halfway between San Francisco and Sacramento, about 45 miles each way. San Francisco has tons to do, like beaches and fishing and boating, great seafood, great shopping. They have a few national sports teams. You can ride your bike across the Golden Gate Bridge. That's a lot of fun. You should give it a try. And Sacramento has tons to see and do also. They have a lot of museums and restaurants, and they have Old Sacramento, which is a lot of fun. There's a train museum there, so I checked that out. And we are in the middle of three international airports. So you have a lot of choices when you're flying. Number two is snow. Now we don't get snow ourselves, but we are very close to the snow. So if you like to ski or snowboard or just drink hot cocoa, then it's only about two hours away. So in the summer, that same area is great for camping and hiking and gold panning, but be sure and leave early because otherwise you're gonna get stuck in some traffic. And we'll talk about that later. Number three is golfing. If you like to golf, Solano County has seven beautiful golf courses. And the world famous Pebble Beach Golf Course is only about three hours away. Number four is great attractions. Solano County has lakes and theme parks and camping and great factory tours like beer, wine, chocolate, olive oil, cheese, and jelly bellies. Number five is major employers. We have Travis Air Force Base, Genentech, Solano Community College, Kaiser, and we have a California State Prison. So there's lots of job opportunities. Okay, now for the cons. Number one is traffic. Solano County is located on the 80 corridor, which gets tons of traffic, especially on the weekends when people want to go to the big city or go to the mountains. So plan accordingly. Number two is the heat. Typically around the summertime, it's around 80 to 90 degrees, but there are days it can get up to 100 degrees and stay there. But that's why they invented air conditioning and pools, right? Number three is the fires. You might've heard about them. We have a lot of green space, which in the summertime turns to brown space. And so it doesn't take much to ignite them, but it doesn't happen too often. Number four is the wildlife. Because our towns are surrounded by so much open space, we get a wide variety of wildlife. Now, some aren't too bad, like squirrels, raccoons, skunk, deer, fox, peacocks, cows, sheep. But we also see snakes. That's why I'm wearing these. And coyotes, bears, mountain lions. If I'm lucky, I won't see any today. I didn't have a number five, but I just thought, what about earthquakes? I'm sure some of you are thinking earthquakes, but in the 25 years, I think I might've felt two earthquakes and they were so minor that I wasn't even sure if it was an earthquake. Now for the sweet bonus. Whether you are moving here, living here, visiting here, you will end up eventually at the Jelly Belly factory. And instead of filling up your basket with the fancy Jelly Belly merch in the middle of the store, go to the edge of the store, look for belly flops. They are the Jelly Bellies that aren't 100% perfect. They may not look perfect, but they taste perfect. And they sell a two pound variety bag for about half the price of the regular Jelly Bellies. So you can stock up on them and use them as gifts or just save them all for yourself. <laughs> If you're thinking about moving to Solano County, I wanna recommend two things to you. First, download my free relocation guide. There's a link to it in the description below. And number two is consider subscribing to my channel. I upload videos often that may be helpful if you're thinking of moving. So that is where I'm gonna hike to. Ow, I got a sticker in my knee. I actually have a plane photobombing me. I had a big old iced tea before I hiked up here. You think that was a smart idea?
And remember, if you're considering relocating to Solano County, I've got that relocation guide in the description below. And you can check out some of my other videos. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Don't wait. Do it now. It's right there. Just hit the subscribe button right there. Little ding, ding. You can do it.